How often should you train each muscle per week if you want to maximize muscle growth? This is an important question to answer because most people, perhaps yourself included, follow random training programs that they find online without assessing whether it's optimal for muscle hypertrophy, aka muscle growth. Training frequency refers to the number of times that you train each muscle per week. Different training programs can have different training frequencies. One of the most common training programs that gym goers follow is a traditional bodybuilding split where Monday is International Chest Day and you only train each muscle group once per week. This type of training split has a training frequency of once weekly per muscle. However, other popular training splits include an upper lower split or even different full body training splits that have different training frequencies where muscles are trained two, three, or even more times per week. But how do we know which of these is best for muscle growth specifically? In this video, I'm gonna discuss the science of training frequency and why it matters for muscle hypertrophy. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna teach you how to use this info to structure your training in a way that's optimal for muscle growth. All right, let's get right into it. Each of the previous training splits that I mentioned have a different training frequency. Like I mentioned before, a traditional bodybuilding split typically has a training frequency of once per week for most muscles since each day of the week is dedicated to a different muscle group. On the other hand, if you performed three full body sessions per week, each muscle would have a training frequency of three times per week. To answer the question of what kind of training frequency is best for muscle growth, we need to look at some research. Thankfully, we have dozens of resistance training studies to look at the use of different training protocols with different training frequencies. For example, this 2016 meta-analysis by Brad Schoenfeld included data from over 10 resistance training studies that directly compared the effects of higher versus lower training frequencies on muscle growth. The results show that training each muscle at least twice per week resulted in significantly greater muscle growth than training them just once per week. However, training muscles more than twice per week didn't really result in any additional benefits over just twice per week. It's funny because a traditional bodybuilding split where you train each muscle just once per week is probably the most popular type of training split. But according to this meta-analysis, training in this fashion is probably the worst way to train for muscle growth. And in fact, these people would make better progress in the gym if they simply trained each muscle at least twice per week. Now, the question that we need to ask is whether the benefits of training a muscle twice per week are inherently due to the effects of training frequency, or is it because of other variables like training volume? In other words, does training more frequently itself cause more muscle growth, or does training a muscle more frequently simply allow you to do more total work, which results in more muscle growth? Thankfully, we also have some research that gives us insight into this question as well. Before we get into it though, if you're enjoying this video so far, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button, it helps me a ton, and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you don't wanna miss any future content. Thank you. Okay, so this 2019 systematic review showed that training a muscle three or more times per week isn't superior to training only once per week when the total volume is the same. This means that when training volume is equated, aka the amount of work that you do in a given week stays the same, training frequency doesn't seem to substantially affect muscle growth. However, when the researchers looked at the effects of training frequency without training volume being equated, they did find a modest benefit for higher training frequencies. So what these studies really tell us is that training frequency itself doesn't inherently affect muscle growth. Instead, it's that higher training frequencies allow us to train with more volume, which results in better muscle growth. There's ample research showing a positive relationship between training volume and muscle growth. So it makes complete sense that training a muscle twice per week would be better for muscle growth than training it once per week because you can perform more overall work. For example, let's say that you train your chest only once per week on Mondays and you're completely gassed after 10 hard sets for your chest. So your weekly training volume for your chest is only 10 hard sets. Now, let's say you start training your chest on Mondays and Thursdays, and you perform only six or seven sets on each of these workouts, then your training volume jumps from only 10 hard sets per week to 12 to 14 hard sets per week. Since you're doing more overall hard sets when you train your chest twice per week, you're going to experience better muscle growth. If you're someone who really likes traditional bodybuilding splits, you might be thinking, okay, great, but what if I just did those 12 to 14 hard sets in one day? Would that be the same as performing it in two days? And the answer again is no, not really. Keep in mind, your performance is also incredibly important when it comes to muscle growth. If you've been training for several years and you really push yourself when you're in the gym, your muscles are probably pretty gassed after seven or eight hard intense sets. Think about this. If you perform two or three sets of the bench press, follow that up with two or three sets of the dumbbell chest press, and then you finish off with two or three sets of cable chest flies to failure, your chest is probably gonna be pretty pumped and pretty fatigued from just that work. 
Could you do more? Of course, but your performance is gonna to begin to suffer because you're already pretty fatigued from all of the work that you've already done. There's no way that your 15th set of chest is going to be as high quality as your first set. On that 15th set, you won't be able to use as much weight and you probably won't be able to perform as many reps compared to doing that exercise when you're completely fresh. So instead of doing the 15 sets of chest in one day, you're still better off doing 15 sets for the week, but splitting it up into two workouts. So you're fresher and you perform better on each individual set. In general, training each muscle at least two times per week is going to be extremely beneficial for building muscle compared to just training each muscle once per week. If you currently train each muscle just once per week, just split up your workouts in half and train each muscle twice per week. That doesn't mean that you have to go to the gym twice as much as you currently do either. You can do this by spending the same amount of time in the gym every single week. For example, let's say you train your chest on Monday and you train your back on Thursdays and you perform about 12 sets for each of those muscles per workout. Then you can start training your back and your chest on both Mondays and Thursdays and just perform about six sets for each on both days. This way you're still going to the gym the same amount of days per week and performing the same number of sets, but you're training each muscle twice rather than just once per week. On the screen are some of my favorite training splits to train each muscle twice per week. Make sure to pause the video and screenshot this if you need to. Each of these training splits is designed to target each muscle group twice per week, independent of how many times you go to the gym. It doesn't matter if you go to the gym three, four, or even six times per week. You can design your training in a way that will allow you to target each muscle twice per week to optimize hypertrophy. Okay, for those of you that are absolutely obsessed with the gym, you might be thinking, well, if a training frequency of twice per week is better than once per week, then I'm gonna train each muscle three or four times per week and make even better gains. Although it makes logical sense, all of the available data suggests that training frequencies greater than two times per week doesn't result in superior muscle growth. Let me explain some potential reasons why this is the case. Earlier, we discussed that if you're somebody who's been training for several years and you really know how to push yourself in the gym, seven or eight sets per session should be more than plenty to truly stimulate and fatigue a particular muscle group. Ideally, you perform about seven or eight hard sets per muscle group per session, which means that you're doing anywhere between 14 to 16 hard sets per muscle per week. Remember, the benefit of greater training frequencies is that they allow you to train with more volume. So in theory, if you take those 14 to 16 sets and break them up over three or four sessions, it's not gonna provide a much better stimulus for growth than training twice per week, because you're still doing the same total number of hard sets per week. Now, if you wanna do significantly more volume and instead of doing two sessions with seven or eight hard sets each, you wanna do three or four sessions with seven or eight hard sets each, you might run into issues with your recovery. There's a ton of different variables that influence your ability to recover, and some people can definitely handle way more volume than others. However, most people won't be able to properly recover if they're trying to perform 20 plus sets for every single muscle group per week. It's just gonna be way too much total work for most people. You're much better off training with slightly less volume so that you can still train very intensely and yet still properly recover from your training. For most people, that amount of volume is manageable with a frequency of two times per week. If you want, you can definitely train with greater training frequency, but it isn't necessarily gonna provide a significantly greater benefit for muscle growth because most people simply can't handle that much training volume. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you've watched this far, comment below. What training split do you currently follow? I'm curious to know. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.